The following game has been rated M by the ESRB for blood and violence. You have been advised if you don't like blood and violence, even though this is a Nintendo game, turn the game video off. Hello and welcome back to Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. So, I recorded this whole well, half of this episode, which I was only going to do half of it anyway for the, this episode, because this is a very long chapter. I had changed OBS to be in 4K, which is a big mistake. It ruined my Pokemon episode, and I thought maybe it was not the reason that it ruined the Pokemon episode, but I'm starting to think it was. Because when I played back the video of this game in 4K, even though the emulator is in 4K and it's showing me a 4K video, I guess... Emulating the 4K and recording the 4K is not good enough for my graphics card, so it actually fro made the frame rate really slow. It didn't freeze like Pokemon did, but it made a really slow frame rate, so I'm gonna have to re record this. Luckily, I moved the save file to a different drive and then put it back right now, so we're gonna have to do it all over again. It wasn't that long, but I did die, so I had to do it over again. All right, so let's watch this chapter. My education in psychiatry did not prepare me. I would love to see how Freud's view of his mother would change with the knowledge of Chaturga. How Skinner would incorporate Zelotath into his behaviorist theories. How Jung would accommodate Ulioth into his theory of the collective unconscious. Like my ancestor, Maximilian, I too had an interest in my family tree. As a psychiatrist, I believe that science could provide answers into my family's sordid, bizarre past. It was with great excitement that I began my search. The mansion's history was filled with my colorful predecessors. Everything from convicted and hung witches to committed madmen, each laying their own peculiar mark on its character. I intended to find their secrets. All right, so the first thing we got to do is pick up this book. A journal of family history rests on the mantle as if used as if used recently. Edward found the historical journal. Let's go and check it. An old musty book bound in dry, dusty leather. This book covers the early history of the Roy Vass family, dating back before the settlers in the land. There appears to be something pressed between the pages. Should Edward get it out? Yes. Edward's found the minute hand of the clock. Cool. Now, I think if we go over by the fireplace, we'll meet the ghost of Maximilian. Edward. Edward. <laughs> you know who I am. Best not to believe it. I am or was Maximilian Roivas, your ancestor. I died in an asylum after trying to warn the world. The pain and anguish I felt in that cell has empowered me to linger after my death. I must complete what I started, Edward. The darkness must be stopped or all of humanity may end. Sets the clock to the 33rd minute of the third hour. Oh, Maximilian, giving us clues to stuff we've already done as Alex. Well, we can get... Magic pool spell. I don't remember what this does or why we need it. But we can't use magic right now because we don't have the Tomb of the Eternal Darkness. 
we're just gonna have to go around the house, collect some ammunition for guns we don't have, and get a knife, get a sword. So in the dining room, there's a few things we can get. One of which is the sword, if we can get around this table. An antique cavalry saber mounted on a display stand gleams in the moonlight. Pick it up, boy. Can you use a cloth on that? I don't want your dirty glove hands on my wall. I don't understand why the servants are cleaning with nothing. And that lady's trying to clean the floor with her bare hands. Bare hands. It's not going to work, guys. And there's an ammo in here. And there's an ammo in here. And there's an ammo in here. And there's another book in here. So let's examine it. An old, musty book bound in dry, dusty leather. The book cover the recent history of the Roy of Us family, going back perhaps 150 years, there appears to be something pressed between the pages. Should Edward get it out? We found an hour hand. I wonder what we do with these. After Maximilian pretty much spelled it out for us, even though we've already done that. We've already done that um, puzzle as Alex in the very beginning of the game. How they think we would forget that, I don't know. Right, there's some ammos here. Yeah, I didn't watch it. I usually watch a video of a guy speedrunning the game before I even read the player's guide. Today I didn't have time to do that, so I would be rusty if I hadn't already played this <laughs> like 10 minutes ago. But I did, so I already know what I'm doing. I feel like it'll go much smoother this time because it went much smoother after I died. Now we can place the hands on the clock. I hate that we have to detail it. Yes, adjust the clock. ancient study I've never seen before. Take them and use them. They are humanity's only hope. Destroy the Guardians, Edward, and avenge my waste. So let's collect the ammo first and the gun. That's the revolver we found as Alex already. There's so much ammo in this house just sitting around. Why? Why do you just have ammunition sitting around your house? A strange leather-bound tome sits closed amidst piles of books and papers. Should Edward pick up the tome? Yes. Ah! Now we can use the pool spell, which I have no clue what it does. Don't think we need to use it. Yet. Not sure why we get it this early. We may as well equip our saber, though. I have 
So according to the magazine, this is a vampire? That doesn't look like a vampire. Any vampire I know. Ooh, he sucked up the essence of that lady. But then he dropped the key when he left. Now the lady is possessed like a vampire. We have to kill her. Okay, if you stand here, you'll get pushed back to the other cut to the other area. So we have to kill the lady. Poor lady. That's probably the lady that was telling us to help her. She can't clean the blood. Half a key stumbles out from the vase that has been toppled and smashed. It glints on the floor. Pick it up, boy. Okay, now I'm gonna save it. Oh my god, I missed my chance to save it. I should have saved it in the study. Dang it. Now if I die, I have to start all over again. I have to be very careful. I don't think I'll die because I actually played it safe the second time I went through and I was able to do it without dying. That crossed your fingers. So the zombie just went to another part of the house. Or the vampire. It's supposed to be a vampire. So... They come in here and then you see the vampire trying to attack this servant in the bedroom. So, now we have to... Use our enchant magic spell to enchant our... Saber. Enter my heart. And the thing is invisible. We also have to do the reveal invisible spell. And we go in and help the guy. If we don't help the guy, we have to start all over again because... Okay, we helped him. And then he goes in the basement. And there is a sort of slab of stone there that he sucks up to heal himself. And then he'll appear somewhere else in the house. And now that we save the guy. If we don't save the guy, this doesn't happen. That's why if you save it, you should save it before, and then if you don't save him, you need to start over. Shaken by the brush with death, the servant gives his thanks. He warns that the creatures might still be around, and extra firepower would be handy. Reminded by his own words, he fishes a key from his pocket and gives it to Edward. Now we have the gun cabinet key. I don't even think we've been in that room yet. Last time I went in there. Maybe we should have gone there first. Um, did I go in there? Yeah, I did. Yeah, we got the ammo in here. So the gun door is locked. So we have to unlock it. It looks open, but it's a glass case. Now we can pick up the open gun. Oh, and then it shows us about this mode that allows the character to change the fire selector on the guns. So as you can see, the elephant gun can shoot one or two bullets at the same time. So if we go to mode, we can change it to have two bullets be shot at once. So... Eventually, the zombie's gonna come in this room. I don't know what sets off that, or if it's just waiting a specific amount of time, or what. first time I did it, I went downstairs because I thought it was the battle downstairs. Oh, and I'm like, wait, it can't be because he has the key still. I went back upstairs and then it showed me the cutscene of him going into the place with the guns. Maybe he waits till your sword runs out of magic. The heck? This is a different angle, it's the same place. So I guess we sit here until he decides to go there, I don't know. Not sure what causes it to happen. 
think he's coming now. And of course, we're gonna have to do the reveal invisible spell again. Hopefully our saber stays enchanted. That scared him off. Goes back down and heals himself again. Grateful for having their life spared from the monster, the servant offers a token of thanks. Is this more elephant gun ammunition? So now he will appear in the main hall eventually. And we're gonna go down here and get ready for it because he will just appear out of that door. We need to, again, Chant our sword. Enter my heart and sell to heart. And do the reveal invisible spell. Wait. He will eventually come out of the door. You think you're so sneaky? I have the invisible make invisible spell. So we're not invisible anymore. In its desperation to escape from Edward, the vampire creature drops the top half of a key onto the floor. Edward picked up the top half of the basement key. Then he sucks more power out of there. So now that we can get into the basement, we can destroy that rock, and he won't be able to um, use it. So we're going to fix our broken key, and then we have to enchant the broken key to actually fix it, just like in the first... And then what I did separate was I made a shield. And hopefully, God, we did this every single time. I don't understand why I can't just unlock the door for us. You have the key, then unlock the door. I know it's for the basement. We want to stand here and we want to destroy this. We can do this because we have the shield on. I hope I'm hitting it. Right, okay. Now we can take care of the monster. Which is disappearing because our disappear spell wore off. Our reveal invisible spell. He's not going to let us cast. He might kill us. That's gonna be bad if he does. Shoot! Shoot! Run away! Shoot! Shoot! Dang it! Damn it! One time that I didn't 
accidentally open the door. Get out of the way, dude. Gotta kill your shaman. So I think the problem I had last time was I didn't lock onto this. Now it should be easier. Also, I need to enchant my sword again. I wasn't about, I actually saved it after we got the book, so it wasn't, wouldn't be that bad if I didn't get it. But jeez Louise, third time I've done this whole episode. We have to take this broom? What is this broom doing? How did I not pick this up? There is so much ammo in this basement. This sputtered around, and a double shotgun. And last but not least is a new spell. The summon horror spell. So I figured out what this Cool spell does is it over time instead of healing you up immediately it'll over time heal you heal something up either your magic sanity or health depending on which color thing you do and I made it I made spells for it for all four for all three of them in case we need it in a later episode, so let me go, I might do the next, a little bit more of the next episode, because this isn't take that long, like 30 minutes. Oh, but I'm going to save it. I know we can save it here. I did it before. All right, so now let's go down these steps. If we can't save it when I need to quit, then I will just do a save state. Inside the well, a crumbling ladder leads down into the cloying darkness. Should Edward venture down the ladder? I don't think there's anything over there, but it says that the, on the staircase we want to cast field. And it says to use the Montorox in order. I'm guessing the Montorox thing does everything? As we'll face some horrors down the steps. This is a bad idea. Since we've already lost our shield. Maybe we should... Ant. That didn't work. Why didn't they tell me to enchant the stuff? I don't think we're going to be able to do it. I 
Why is there no bullets still? Waste your ammo. Finishing them. That's, that's, oh, wow. We have plenty. We have plenty of magic is what we're running out of so much. It says to save the game here, and after you go through this door, you can't turn back. So, I think this is where we're going to end it. That wasn't much after what we did, but I think this is where I wanted to end it before. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye now, and then I'm going to fill up my magic by running back and forth, and I'm going to save it. See you guys next time on Eternal Darkness that hopefully recorded without the frame rate being bad. Bye!